This video is for people who think redstone is a ruby. When asked about currants, they think they're just thin, thirsty grapes. Well, maybe not quite that bad. You'll need to know what redstone is and how to power it. Redstone currants are used to power almost all the machine blocks in Minecraft, but there can be obstacles to overcome. A good trick to remember from the start is to colour code the blocks your currants are on, especially if you have more than one. So, this current is the yellow wool current, and this one is the pink wool current. See? Redstone current can't travel more than 15 blocks before it fades out, so you need to plan ahead. If your redstone current is going to be longer than 15 blocks, you'll need a redstone repeater, which essentially renews the power, allowing it to travel another 15 blocks. What about sending your redstone current upwards, you ask? Well, the easiest way to transmit a current vertically is using a simple staircase with wire on it. Another nifty way is using the half slabs as a smaller, more compact wire staircase, like so. Remember, both these methods will still need a repeater every 15 blocks. If you only want your current to flow one way, use the repeater there too. It also serves as a nifty diode. Diodes will also push the current through a wall if you don't want ungainly holes in your building. Sometimes a redstone logic gate is needed. Click up here for the video on that, and then up here for the video about traps.